Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR Net Mathematics. Today we will discuss about some more questions on the probability and stat with the shortcut tricks which was asked in this examination. So let's see how you can solve them. So look at the first question, they are asked about that some distributions are already given to you and based on this distribution you have to find the relation of them that is x1 plus x2 is a uniform, this is a uniform and so on. How you can do that? So let me firstly tell you, look at the first and the third option, there are two variables while for the second and uh, fourth option there are only one variables. So what you can do, that is, uh, that is a question related to the transformation of a random variables. So if you have the random variable x, then you want to find the new function y that is called as like here, this is the y, this is y. How you can find the probability density function of this is, this is a simple rule behind that. However, if there are two variables, then instead of this, this is for the one dimension problem. If you are working on the two dimension problem, then your PDF will be like here. This is xy. Instead of the dx dy, we will call as the Jacobian. So we will see about here. Let's firstly do like here. What is the value of the fx for the uniform distribution? So for the uniform distribution over the interval a, b, what is the PDF is 1 upon b minus a. So what is that? This is here. Now what is the dx upon dy? If I consider y as of x by n, what is the value of the x is ny? What is the dx is n of dy? So dx upon dy is mod of n, n is my positive integer. So this is my 1, this is a 1. What is that? Here now, whenever x lies between 0 to n, where is the y lies between? y lies between 0 to 1. That's again a uniform distribution. So it means I consider y as of this. So y follows the, what is the PDF of this over this? This is nothing but my uniform. So it means this is a correct statement. Similarly, we can see about here again y is a, x is a exponential. So what is the PDF of the x is? So if I consider g of y, what is the PDF of the x is e raised mean is 1. So lambda is 1. So e raised to power minus x. Then if I consider y as of e raised to power minus x, so what is the x value is minus of log y. What is the dx upon dy? Modulus of this, this is minus 1 upon y. What is the value e of x is nothing but my y. So this is y will be cancelled out. So what is that? This is 1 which is again of the uniform distribution. That is also the correct statement. Now how you can solve that two dimension problem? Uh, for that two dimension problem, you can consider this as of the x1 plus x2. You can take v as of any one of these, I can consider v as of x2. So it means you can find the value of v, you can find the value of the xr here. So Jacobian is nothing but i, partial derivative of this are the line x, x1 with respect to u and v. This is 1 and minus 1, partial derivative of the x2 with respect to u and the with respect to v. What is the Jacobian is 1. Now you can substitute this value here, what is the f of x comma y? x1 and x2 are the independent. So what is the f of this is nothing but x1, x2 and what is the Jacobian is my 1. So it's a uniform distribution, it's a 1, it's a 1 and it's a 1. So that is a 1 which is not be a uniform distribution over this here. Why? Because if it is a uniform distribution then it's a 1 by 2. Anyhow this is my g of uv but I need the x1 plus x2 that is I need the u. So I want to find the marginal density function. So how you can find the marginal density function is collection of over the v. So once you will integrate them it can never be the 1 by 2 because if you if you look about the domains is is not be true. So this means this is my false statement. Also you can see x1 and x2 are the standard. It will be a standard normal provided x1 and x2 are the independent random variable but here independent is not given to you so this option is also cancelled out. So the b and c are the uh, B and D are the correct options. Look at the thus, which of the following is necessary the correct statement. So look at that first. So it means we have to start from here. You, we all know that this is the relation between them. Probability of A plus probability of B. Now we can see the first part probability of A. So I can find the value of the A intersection B from here. This is nothing but P of A plus P of B minus of probability of this. Since probability is always be a positive value, so it means this is always be greater than 0. So the first statement is correct. Probability of A union B is less than of this. Probability of the A union B is greater than of this. That can never be true because if you find the value of here, 
what is that this is a plus b minus of intersection so this value if probability of this is greater than 0 what is the meaning of that this must be negative value but this is not possible that will be cancel out this is true only when a and b are independent so since it is not given to you that they are independent so this option is cancel out what is that now you can find the intersection here since this value is probability of a union b is always be less than 1 so the minus of them is always be greater than of the minus 1 so it means this option is also correct a and d are the correct options look at the another one is there so if you have the two samples they are independent is given to you from the continuous distribution of the f what is the f is it is not given to you w is the sum of the rank of the x observation which of the following is true that's a very simple question are there so it's a sum of the rank it means you have to apply the rank test are there whenever there is a rank test then you have to find if i call as a w what is that this is nothing but my uh, n m plus 1 upon 2 what is the n and m are there n is the number of the elements of the required task and m is the total number of the elements so now you can see that the read statement w they are asking on the x so it means x is so n is the number of the elements of the x so what is the number of the elements in the x n so it means this is my n m is the total number of the elements so what is the total number of the element is my n so the right answer is my here so this option is cancel out this will be true when they are uh, when w is the sum of the rank of the total observation only distribution of the uh, w is symmetric about his distribution of m w does not depends which of the following is true so remember that the distribution of the w is symmetric about the mean always so is this the mean yes so it means this is also true distribution of the w does not depends upon the f that's also true because what is that this is nothing but my wilcoxon rank test and wilcoxon rank test is a non parametric test what is the non parametric test is it is free from the distribution so it does not depends upon the distribution function that is also the correct state look at the another one is there now again these are uh, talking about the will constant test and you have to find the expected value of the r so expected value of the r is again here n is the required task m is the total so will constant test is are talking on the x so what is the n is number of the elements in the x what is the m is total number of the elements they are not given so they are given to you 35 so now you can substitute here 15 plus 36 by 2 this is 18 15 into 18 is 072 is the right answer look at this one is this is the multivariate distributions are there and you have to find the chi square distribution so it means you, your target is to find the relation between the multivariates with the chi square i think that's very simple so what i can do is if x follows the normal distribution having the mean here then in case of the normal in case of the multivariates so whatever is here transpose you can say x minus this will follows the chi square distribution that's a simple rule what is the meaning of that now i have to check from here which one satisfied here that's a very oh, sorry this is inverse that is the inverse r there now i can in in this all this case x will be my x1 minus x2 so i consider as of the y what is the mean of the y this is e of x1 minus of e x2 that is the mean is given to you here they are iid so it means the mean minus mean is zero so it means this value is my y minus 0 transpose i can find this y minus 0 so it means y minus 0 all are there now i can find the variance of the y variance of the y is x1 plus variance of the x2 because they are iid that is independent and this value variances are given to you as a sigma so this is sigma plus sigma is a 2 sigma now you can substitute this value here what will happen this is nothing but the y transpose what is the here 2 inverse sigma inverse of y what is that 2 inverse is 1 by 2 that is the right answer so 1 by 2 here is a sigma is not there this are cancel 
this is the sigma square but it's a 2 that option is also cancelled so that d is the right answer look at the last question are here again in this case you have to find the distribution of here means uh, if i consider z as of x plus y i can consider say v as of the y so i can find the value of the x and y from here v is this x is my v so i can find the density function of the u comma v is f of x comma y and the jacobian so what is the jacobian of this is x v z and v so again it is a one so i can substitute they are independent they are exponential so what is the what is the density function of the exponential exponential density function is lambda e raised power here now since mean is this so the first function is this r here and for the second is it's a mu e of mu of y jacobian is my one so what is that this is lambda mu of lambda x minus of lambda y now since we need the value of the z only that is we we are talking about the marginal density function so we can integrate this function over the v so e raised to power minus lambda x i can substitute the value x from here this is z minus v and e raised to power lambda v so which one is the common e raised to power minus lambda z is common e raised to power minus lambda v e raised to power minus mu of v now you can see which one is option is this option is cancelled out because we need the product of them these are option true this may be true this now we have to think about only for the plus and minus what are the limits are there so here x and y both are greater than 0 so what is that if x is greater than 0 v is greater than 0 so here so z is greater than v so this is the portion basically we have now what is the limit of the v we can take the horizontal vertical strip this is 0 to z now you can integrate them uh, what is that this is e raised to power lambda plus nu sorry this is minus minus plus so it will be minus upon mu minus of this from 0 to z so what is that mu minus lambda is there so this option is also cancel out this option also cancel out because there is only one limit are there so the right answer is only one so if you integrate them you can solve it you will get the same answer of this is the right answer so, so there is no need to solve them because we need to get the accurate answer from here so this is the way you can solve these questions are there we will see some more questions in our next videos till then follow this link share with the videos with your friends thank you very much